Our top story tonight, what seems to be a silent standoff between the Ministry of Health and the donor community for the last 10 months may now blow up with Kenyans in need of life-changing medicine left to bear the brunt. A shipment of Zithomax, an antibiotic used for trachoma, has been withheld, I beg your pardon, in storage pending payment of demerage charges by the Ministry of Health. Dr. Masi Korir now brings you the details of this development story. Two million Kenyans may go blind if medicines being held at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport are not released as soon as possible. The drugs donated by Pfizer, a global pharmaceutical company, arrived in the country on 16th October 2017 and were to be distributed in October and November in 12 counties. For the last 10 months, the medicines, which are estimated to have a 4 billion shilling market value, have been held at Trans Global Cargo Center, accruing demerit charges now at almost 70 million Kenya shillings. Zithromax, the medicines in question, are for the National Trachoma Elimination Program in Turkana, West Pokot, Baringo, Samburu, Laikipia, Meru, Wajir, Masabit, Narok, Kajiado, and Kitui counties. In a letter to the Program Director of International Trachoma Initiative, the Principal Secretary at the Ministry of Health, Peter Tum, acknowledged receiving the two million doses of Zithromax. Speaking to KTN News, the PS said the charges will be paid. You know, uh, closing the financial year mm -hmm. and uh, opening the new one. So uh, uh, those are among the first payments we are doing this week. Donors are losing patience due to this standoff. Further to this, Kenya's fight against trachoma is in jeopardy following suspension of any other donations to the country. This means that the future of the site of Kenyans at risk of trachoma is unclear. Dr. Masikorir. KT News.